Hey everybody, this is Brian again. I am uploading another video of a woodworking project that I just recently did, uh, making a pen using my lathe. Um, the, the wood I'm using here is Paduk. Uh, it's imported from Africa and I guess you can buy it at your local uh, hardware store like I did or a woodworking store. Um, it's a bright orange colored wood which will make a real pretty uh, pen once it's all finished here. I'm using a roughing gouge, uh, which is the beefiest of the gouges that I have um, as far as chisel, chisel tools go. Uh, it's basically taking that square blank uh, of wood and, and smoothing it down into a round cylinder. Uh, you can kind of see the difference between the two. One's round, one's not. Um, once that's completed, you can go back and turn the speed up on your lathe. Um, and once it's round, it won't. The, the chances of your tool catching an edge and flying out of your hands uh, are taken down quite a bit. So now that they're round, I can go back, turn the speed up, and smooth out those those little. Uh, you can kind of see the the unevenness in the pieces of wood. Um, so you can go back and smooth those down. And if you would look at the four silver pieces that are uh, in between each of those uh, two pen blanks. Uh, the pieces of wood and then there's one on each side as well um, they're all different sizes that's because the pen kits that you get uh, to put together which uh, you know that basically you can call it the guts of the pen which is your your ink cartridge and the tip of the pen and the clip and everything they're all different sizes so those bushings just help you uh, to size that up you will want to take it down on your lathe to about a thousandth of an inch uh, from that bushing you don't want to touch the bushing you could ruin it and uh, it can get expensive to purchase those every time you go to make a pen. So about a thousandth of an inch is what I'll take it down to. And then I'll go back uh, with about an 80 grit sandpaper um, just to smooth that down all the way. Some people don't like using such a, a low grit sandpaper on your pens. Um, but personally, I'd rather just um, get it as close as I can with the chisel not actually touching my bushing and, and breaking it. Next, I'm marking out where I'm going to have my finger grips go. So you just kind of get a rough mark with the pencil, turn on the lathe, darken those marks so you can see them, and come back with the skew and just uh, put the little indentation in. Uh, you can go as deep as you want. Um, in this case, I'm gonna, you'll see I'm going to sand it down with the 80 grit uh, to get those bushings uh, even with the wood, or get the wood even with the bushings, rather. Um, being that I'm using 80 grit, I'll have to go back and redarken those finger grips that I made. You'll see that here in just a little bit. Um, probably sanded a little bit too much off, but that's okay. It's an easy fix. Just put your tool rest back on and, and just give them a quick pass, and uh, they're back good as new. After that, I'll use about a 150 grit, then 220, 320, 400, 600, 800, and 1,000 uh, as far as sandpaper goes. And then after that, I have these little micro mesh pads, uh, which I believe go from somewhere around 2,000 grit all the way up to 12,000 grit. Most of the finishes that you use on a pen will recommend that you go to at least, uh, like some say 2,000, some say 6,000. Um, in my case, since I have the option to go all the way to 12, I go ahead and do that. It just makes a, the, the finish go on really easy. And, uh, and and smooth and the pen comes out really smooth as well and I think it just it looks better overall as you can see those are the little foam pads I use which are nice uh, considering the lathe is spinning at such a high speed uh, it, it makes it so I can't feel the heat from the lathe uh, and it doesn't burn my fingers which is, is a nice thing to have when you're working with uh, things at high speed uh, sorry about that that was my got a text message there but uh, after that, you'll go back, want to apply some, some uh, mineral spirits. Just I do it while the lathe is spinning. Just gets all the dust off and, and helps your finish go on a lot nicer. Uh, and you'll, you'll come out with a better product after that. Uh, once that's done, you can see I'm getting ready to do some friction polish. You want to apply that when the lathe is not spinning at first. Get it on there even. And then turn the lathe on uh, at the highest speed it'll go and move your hand back and forth uh, pretty quick and, and that'll bring it to a shine relatively quick uh, and then after that I personally like to apply some two different waxes one 
is just kind of like a base wax and the second one the white wax which you'll see here uh, right after this is really what makes it shine or makes the wood grain pop as some people say um, so there's the white one doesn't take long uh, for that with the lathe spin as fast as it is uh, to melt that wax on basically bakes it on and then after that uh, you can take it off the lathe and assemble your pen and, and here's your finished pen um, as you can see this one has gold fittings um, in between them there's the, the little finger marks as you can see there as well then this next pen is, is not Paduke. This is Purple Heart. This is one uh, pen I actually made for my mom on Mother's Day. But hope you liked it. If you have any questions, just comment below.